G'day there, mates. Welcome back to the arena. I'm, of course, Winger, joined by Teddy, and we have another Raven on the, on the arena with a very similar-looking comp, and then we have another Abaddon in the arena as well with another somewhat similar-looking comp, except I don't yeah. think... How many crews have we seen today, Teddy? Have I been missing these? Well, I actually don't think we've seen any so far. I wonder why that is. <laughs> oh, I a truly, bit brutal truly that. wonder. But yeah, we've got a classic shield rush versus a classic armor control. Let's just see which see how it goes. Yes, I get the feeling that Cruel's going to have a hard time being chased by Gila drones, but then again, I don't know. Also, is that the first Garma we've seen? Or have we seen one of them lying around? Oh, Either you're way. stretching my memory here. Oh, I know, I'm trying my best, and I'm stretching as hard as I can, because mine is trash. And the match I, will be underway in new. 15 seconds. I I'm going to be curious to see. Let me just double check this Raven before we go any further. He's definitely Torpedo Fear, right? No, Rapid Heavy Raven this time. Fair enough. That's probably more reasonable. And go, go. Let's see what target goes first. Gama doing Gama things, of course. Burning straight away. Let me see a couple of Rep Drones. That Jank being tossed absolutely just volleyed right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wonder if that was an Abaddon volley. I bet you it probably was, actually. Still continuing, just about. Yep. That, that Abaddon is doing great work trying to transversal match with a really slow brick of a ship. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm just watching the Abaddon trying to transversal match. He is so slow. Okay, he's now changed targets. They've now focused on the Osprey now. And it's going to be half the Osprey to get away from these two uh, Amarian ships that are going to keep pounding upon it. So he's now on a short lifespan. Yeah, Once he's gone, he's in trouble. Osprey's going down. Mm-hmm, yep. And Abaddon is not something you want to be against when you're in, a, in an Osprey. And gone immediately. Meanwhile, it looks like they're going for Brainstraw on the Ashimu, and honestly, they're not really doing much. He's being held up yeah, he very seems well. Be, he seems to be tanking absolutely fine. No, I'm arguing how when I say that, he starts losing a bit of armor, but he's still doing all right. He's got a bunch of Rep Drones. He's got the... Uh, Orgram as well, but there's actually a bunch of Rep Drones still on the Orgra and not on the Ashimu yet. So they're, they're the hedging their bets for the, the Orgra. Taking, taking a lot of damage on the Gila now. Yep. Oh no, they might, they they might, might lose the Ashimu because all the Rep Drones are still on the Orgra. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying, he's backing away, he's trying to get away from the opposing team. Jackdaw's going down. We're all just yeah, that just might be fine now. I think he's out of range. Ashimu <laughs> gets away with it. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna hurt! Like uh, that's just not fun for Center for Advanced Suffering. Their name is definitely correct. As the Ashimu manages to survive, is gonna get wrapped back up. Meanwhile, their gear is about to die. This is uh, definitely going one way and one way only. Yeah, switching over to the Mega now to try and get that down, but they've got so little DPS now that is they're gonna struggle to even apply to that Mega. Yeah, well, there goes the Gila, which goes they're one of their best anti-support uh, DPS. So, yeah, it looks like slowly but surely they're just going to get pulled apart. Uh, Brainstraw, perfectly safe. The Magus, perfectly safe. And, uh, yeah, there's just... There's not really anything they can do. I also wonder what this Garma's been doing. He's, he's been doing Garma things. They're switching over to the Augur now. Taking a little bit of damage, but not, not honestly not enough. Yeah, and honestly, at this point, even if they do kill the Augura, I think it's probably too little too late. They just don't really have any move to make after that, as the Gama does what Gama's doing, gets caught and goes pop. And uh, the Cyclone Fleet is taking some damage, and he should go down reasonably quickly. Yeah, the Cyclone Fleet getting tracked by the Abaddon here. Yeah. Well, honestly, respect to a uh, six guys one violation or whatever their previous lewd name was, because they have played this very, very well. And unfortunately, I just think that Centers for Advanced Suffering didn't really commit quick enough. It kind of, kind of just waited a bit too long. Not that I think it was really going to matter. I think they were going to suffer either way. But once you're very, once your Osprey goes, you got to do something. Very clutch piloting out from the Ashmu though to just try and survive for as long as possible, and then actually managing to get away. Very clutch piloting by Brainstorm. That seems familiar. But yes, it was definitely well flown by um by the Ashimu. And honestly, I was expecting to put the Logi drones from the Augur onto the Ashimu, but they just knew he can pull away. They they just trusted in the pilot and let him pull back and get the reps back on him. So I mean, absolute respect to this team. Well flown. Showing their confidence. Now I get to watch a Raven die 
I was going to say slowly, but he's actually dying rather fast. He's getting absolutely <laughs> chunk. What in the world does he does he have like no tank or has he turned it all off? He's probably turned it off. Oof, big oof moments. Just gonna wait for him to pop, and there we go. Standard of Revant suffering, unfortunately, going down to a complete clean sweep. And with that, let's hear what the uh, boys on the table think. <laughs> 